Don't forget the RX Gaming festive sweater and the limited edition pins are on sale right now. If you want to support all the cool stuff we've been doing, then you can pick one of these up and look super awesome in your office Christmas party. Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Borderlands 3. And today, I want to take a look at some of the new gameplay. Yesterday, Gearbox dropped a brand new video on the Borderlands channel, which basically shows us the first, say, 13 minutes of the upcoming story DLC. Of course, on December the 19th, we have the next DLC, or the first story DLC, should I say. We've had loads of expansions to the game, we've had some like free updates, but this is the first sizable story expansion it is of course the one that's set in handsome jack's casino goes live on december the 19th and they basically give us a look at essentially what is the very beginning of that dlc you go in with a little cutscene at the beginning you land down in the casino you greet jack's hologram and you then go through and fight various different enemies there are loader bots there are tinks there's some cov enemies that kind of thing so largely speaking I wouldn't really say there's any spoilers in here, it's pretty uh, pretty tame, there's just literally the introduction to it. However, we do see a couple of things during this gameplay that I wanted to kind of call out, and then I'm just going to let you guys watch it because it's just a chance to sort of see where we'll be exploring in a couple of weeks, not even that far away, which is really cool because of course brand new DLC means new weapons, new gear, new legendaries, all that good stuff to experience. It'll be interesting to kind of just sort of see quite how much it expands the game, like quite how sizable these ones will be, but either way, the fact that we've got a means to expand on the story and, you know, kind of relive some stuff with Jack, because he's still to this day one of the best, best bad guys, then uh, I'm all for it, right? But main thing is, of course, they mentioned on the recent Borderlands show that this is something you can do kind of any time in the game. As long as you have got access to Sanctuary, you don't have to have completed the game. This is not something that happens at the end of the game. You'll notice that the character in here in this situation is only level 23, so you definitely don't have to have completed the entire game. I mean, I appreciate by now, if you're still playing the game, then you're probably at the end. But regardless, if for some reason you maybe kind of picked the game up a little bit later, wanted to jump into some of the new stuff, then of course you can do that. Additionally, what I want to turn my attention to is one of the new class mods we've seen for Flak, which looks so incredibly powerful and has the potential to be insanely broken, right? There are a couple of legendary items that dropped during this playthrough. One of them they specifically didn't pick up, which was really frustrating, right? Because in the gameplay, they go through and they open practically everything. They open the ammo chest, they open the money chest, they break the vending machines to kind of get the ammo, but they kind of interact with as much stuff as possible, and they even pick up some of the basic, like, white, blue, and green guns, but towards the end, they actively avoid this, which is, uh, I mean, as somebody that plays looter games, it's really, really frustrating. However, there is one that they did pick up, and this is insane, right? Stackbot is a new legendary class mod for Flak, right? And the description says, whenever Flak scores a critical hit, they gain increased weapon damage until they don't score a critical hit. This affects stacks. Now, I'm sure if you guys have used Flak, you're pretty sure where this is going, right? The typical playstyle for Flak is fade away. Of course, there are the new builds. There is, of course, the nice new rack build, which I've been using in Mayhem 4. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. Definitely very potent. But typically, if you're playing Flak, you're playing fade away, right? You go into that, you have Gorillas in the Mist, means you can stay invisible, guarantee your crits for the next five seconds or so, and basically you then have a very nice crit window. So the interesting thing with that is that basically for that five seconds, you're gonna get a whopping damage boost on what is already one of the most potent ways to play. So I'm very interested to sort of see whether they're gonna be balancing that in any particular way or whether they're literally just gonna be amping up the damage in that very small window. I mean, keep in mind, it is of course only a small like five or six second window, so it's not huge, but regardless, I mean, amping up the damage to what is already there is uh, something I'm definitely very excited to check out, so can't wait to see more of that. Either way, of course, anytime there's a new DLC, lots of new stuff to look forward to. The other item that dropped did look like it was a Zane Glass mod, but of course they didn't take a look at that, so as and when it goes live and we start getting these new items, you can expect plenty of videos on the channel. But anyway, for the time being, I'm gonna leave you guys just to watch the rest of the gameplay. This is your first look at, of course, the new DLC. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it, let me know what you are hoping to see in the DLC, and of course, keep it locked for plenty more Borderlands content. still trying to screw us. <sighs> but don't worry about that debt. Once I'm in charge of the casino, I'll wipe the slate clean. 
Jack's debt scheme must have roped in a lot of people. After being stranded all this time, they might not be friendly. Stay sharp, sugar. I've got a lot riding on you. Hey, meal ticket! Wanna play? As I was saying. Before you get hurt. Oh, crap! Loaders! The boss is after us! I'm bullets for you. Everybody gets bullets! <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you! on the casino by a mile. If I know Jack, and I'm ashamed to say I did, that's where we can find the keys to the kingdom. There's supposed to be a subway connecting all the parts of the casino. It doesn't appear to be working, but you can follow the tracks to the main strip.
means roll the dice, if you're feeling lucky. Lucky's my middle name. Also, screw you. That's it, meal ticket. I warned you. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.